It's been one stunning headline after another in Atlanta. Evidence of cheating on standardized tests in at least 12 public schools. Not by students, but by at least 100 educators, including teachers, assistant principals, and even principals. There has been evidence of test alterations that are unacceptable. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation began questioning educators in mid-October after the governor widened the probe. Federal authorities are also looking at Atlanta public schools. They are concerned about federal monies any of these schools may have won, which is potentially fraud if they used, in this case, falsified scores to earn those dollars. Performance on state exams, mandated by the No Child Left Behind Act, can be linked to federal funding. In Atlanta and some other public school systems around the country, improved test scores can also trigger bonuses. It can go Everybody. to $50 for a bus driver. It can go to, two thousand, depending if you meet 100% of the target, it could be $2,000 for a teacher. So every single employee of a school benefits when the scores go up. Yes. Christina Torres has covered education for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution for the last seven years. In 2008, the AJC analyzed state exam results for students who needed to retake the tests and noticed something didn't add up. Lo and behold, they all not only passed, they were all at the top. Everyone. Everyone. That prompted the state to take a closer look at the test forms. Eraser marks raised red flags. There's an average of how many times a student's going to go in and change a mark from wrong to right. And the schools they flagged were well beyond that. The state sanctioned 13 educators in all. There were suspensions from 90 days to two years. Among those suspended were the principal and assistant principal at Atherton Elementary School in suburban Atlanta who admitted to wrongdoing. They had admitted cheating. They had admitted physically taking these retests going into a room and locking themselves in, and someone erased and someone called out the answers. In October 2009, we published our second analysis, and that analysis found 19 elementary schools statewide, including a dozen in Atlanta, that had unusual gains or drops. And that included schools that had such a gain that our odds put that at worse than one in a billion. One in a billion? One in a billion, with a B. Improbable odds that did nothing to erase doubt and only raised more questions. Questions that should be settled once Georgia's investigation wraps up, expected early next year. It does seem like none of this information would have come out unless, you know, if the AJC hadn't done the digging. What's the best way you think to, to keep educators on it? Well, it's so important that the media go beyond just the numbers and start asking questions. And that's what the AJC did. They went deeper, and as a matter of fact, they found out information that no one else would have found out had they not put the time in. They put it almost, almost two years on this project yeah. so far. It's a hard thing for a lot of news organizations to do. Steve, thanks.